What's up everybody? It's Kelsey Brianna J here with a review and tutorial using the new ColourPop X Shayla collaboration products. I don't have every single piece here with me, but I did pick up a good amount of the collection. There's eyeshadows, there's lipsticks, there's gloss, there's highlighters. So there's a bunch of components to the collection and of course when I saw that Shayla was releasing it, I was like, you know what? This is my time to try out ColourPop. This is actually my first time ever buying anything from ColourPop. I've heard nothing but great things about about it from everybody else. I really like Shayla so I was like let me support by getting these products. So I have the eyeshadow palette. I picked up one highlighter, the lip gloss and the lipstick and I have it on now. I feel like it looks really nice. So let's go ahead and go through the details of this collection. So right now everything is out of stock. I didn't even know I have not been back on the website since I ordered it. I ordered everything on April 27th and I just got it today May 4th. The shipping oh my gosh like that is an excruciatingly long time to wait for shipping. But I see stuff on online I'm like okay I want mine I gotta have mine and so a week it felt like seven months so I'm like color pop where's my stuff girl but I finally got it so I'm like whoo whenever I get packages it's like Christmas the imagery for the collab is really beautiful it's Shayla with paint splatters and of course she's gonna serve she's gonna give looks she delivered on this campaign so there's a bundle with everything in there and then there's things priced individually as well as bundled in smaller bundles if you didn't want to get the entire collection. So if you got the entire collection, there's a bundle that was offered on their website for $59, which is at a discounted price because if you bought everything individually, it would be $64. And there's also a lipstick set if you want to get all three of them that is priced at $21 and everything else is priced individually. I picked up the eyeshadow palette and this is the packaging for it. This retails for $23. There are 16 different colors in this palette. This packaging is really nice. It feels like NARS type packaging, very soft, and then it has the paint dripping. The name of the palette is Perception. This is what the actual palette looks like. So it has that mirrored paint splatter. I think that it looks so pretty. And this palette is super weighty. This is only $23. I was highly impressed with this. All of the colors that I used performed really nicely, and I have a blue all over my eyelid and you guys know how difficult blues can be when you're blending it out all over your eyes sometimes they just go everywhere sometimes they don't stay pigmented I did get a little bit of fallout with the blues but overall I feel like these eyeshadows performed really well so there's a mirror here and then here are the eyeshadows they're organized really pretty and I think this palette is even prettier in person than it is online so there are different colors in here you can do a lot of different looks with this palette like you can take it from day to night they have pops of colors in here and the eyeshadows just really complement each other in the way that they're organized and you have all of your basic colors that you'll need you have your transition colors you have your colors to add depth you have different eyeshadows that are shimmery you can do different intensities so I think that it's a really well done and well thought out palette so I'd say if you're gonna get anything from the collection I would definitely get this palette and then like I said there's three different lipsticks I didn't get all of them I got the color ooh you know how she says that in her little way but this one is the corally lipstick and the lipstick went on really nicely it is a thinner lipstick so I did have to build it up a bit but when layering it it gave a really nice look the lipstick is engraved with little stars I thought that was cute and then the lipstick bullet actually is really weighty as well this lipstick does have a slight vanilla scent to it, which I like. But I feel like this lipstick is really great quality. It's only $7. Like, that blows my mind that it's so inexpensive, but yeah, it gives me the color that I want. But on top of it, I do have on the lip gloss. This one is in the color Neat Freak, and this one is really pretty. This is like a nudish light pink with white and gold and silver almost. Yeah, silver and pink reflective qualities to it and this is so pretty it's in between being thick and not thick I wouldn't say that it's thin but I wouldn't say that it's thick it's like right in the middle a pretty decent lip gloss formula is really nice for layering I wore it alone earlier today and it gave a really nice amount of shine and it's not opaque so you still can see your lips through if you're going to be wearing it by yourself but the glitter in here is really nice you can't feel it it's not that chunky particles of glitter it's very smooth I have it on now 
out and it doesn't really change the color it just gives a little bit of an element of a shine and a reflectiveness to it I seem to have lost the top but this is the highlighter and I have the one in the color booming there's two different highlighters to this collection this one is the lighter one the other one was named pose while I thought that that looks beautiful online and it looks beautiful on Shayla on me I don't like colors like that because I am a few shades lighter than her so on me those colors tend to be too dark and they look bruised as a highlight and I don't really like wearing that shiny of a color as a blush so I like to say here in terms of highlight but I think that that one is really pretty it's smooth it went on really nicely and sometimes loose powders like this that are in highlighter forms can be too powdery but I think this one was a nice consistency the powder is finely milled it's very reflective and it's giving me a really beautiful smooth shine so I cannot complain about anything that I got I think that the packaging was done really nicely it's super dope I feel like all the pieces are really good I really didn't expect to like it as much as I do but I really think that this is a really cool collection and I'm interested to see what else Colourpop puts out now they've intrigued me so now I'm gonna be looking at all the different collections that they put out and I'm like okay let's see can you compare to the Shayla stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into swatches of everything from the collection that way you all can see all of the different colors especially of the eyeshadow palette and then following that I did do a tutorial of this look I want you guys to see how I created it step by step so stay tuned and enjoy majority of my makeup on this collection is comprised of all color products so I'm gonna start off with my eyes I already have them prepped and primed and set and ready to go so I'm just gonna jump right into using this palette the first color that I'm dipping into is the color culture with a NARS number 42 fluffy blending brush making sure to tap off that brush I'm going to take this color right above my crease and this is going to be our transition color Next with the same brush, I'm taking the color Thick. I'm going to scooch down a hair and apply that directly in the crease. I apply Culture first and Thick right below it. Oh yes. And I'm going to go in with a flat shader brush. This is a MAC 242 brush and the color Unbothered. I love a white gold, y'all. I'm going to take this on the high points of my brow and blend it downwards same brush same color and I'm just going to pop that right on the inner tear ducts and bring it over same brush and I'm going to take the color 14 I'm just gonna take that color right here right next to unbothered and tap it on my lid and I'm just going to carefully tap that color because I don't want it to go too far up into the orange because I don't want that orange to look muddy so just carefully apply this oh and it's applying so nicely and building up so nicely and lightly start to fuse that blue with this white gold but just really slow take your time So I kind of rounded off the blue and I continue to pack it on. I rounded it off into a shape because I'm really into shapes right now. But the key to this is, is to make sure that the blue and the orange meet, but they don't mix. Because once they mix, it turns into this really muddy, unattractive color that nobody really wants on their eyes. On the rest of the eyelid, I'm going to go in with the color Stallion. Now be very careful with this because I did get a little bit of fallout with the color 14. So I'm sure I'll get a little bit of fallout with this one. So just lightly pack it on. And I'm going to take this all the rest of the way across the eye. So again, I'm just going to draw like a bit of a shape here. 
just to be my guide and this is going to come out looking like a cut crease i'm going to pat stallion right on the edge of where 14 ends and gradually start using packing motions to build in that little space you're pressing that in and right here when i get to the end i'm just gonna like leave it there and when I do the bottom lash line, I'll connect it and make it make sense. And if you want to, you can go in with a really small, detailed blending brush. This is a 221 Natural Hair Brush by MAC. You can take this and go back with a little bit of the color thick, which is the orange. And I mean so lightly go right over that edge just to re-intensify that orange. Slightly blur that line so it's not so harsh. I'm going to go back into the color Unbother and on the lower inner corner I'm going to apply this color to about here. Same pencil brush, I'm going to take the color Revenge and let's take that all across the lower lash line. Make sure you connect it to that blue. That blue really doesn't have anywhere to stop so applying Revenge gives it something to connect to. So I'm just going to apply that pretty generously and blend it downwards. And then to soften that up, I'm going to go back into the color Culture and go right on the edge of that. Just so it's not so harsh. And I'm going to finish off my eyes, mascara, a little bit of liner on top and lashes. And I'll be right back and we'll finish off the look together. So I'm going to first go in with the lip liner because I believe in a lined lip. This is Gucci Burnt Cinnamon. And I'm going to go in with, ooh, right in the middle. Oh. Okay. And then on top, I'm going to take the gloss and take a lip brush because I don't like to mix in lip colors with my glosses that are clear. Pat that on. It's highlight time. I'm going to go in with the highlighter in Boomin. This is a Wayne Goss number 16 brush just because I get a little bit more control. I tap some into the top and I'm just going to lightly apply this on the tops of my cheek. Ooh, that's nice. Wow, okay. Ooh, if you wet this, this will go off. I'm going to go ahead and spray with a little bit of Fix Plus. Honestly, I'm very impressed with everything. I feel like everything turned out beautifully. I loved all the products that I used today. So here's the look snatched. I'm here for it. I feel like they did a great job. Let me know if you plan on picking up anything from this collection. It is available on ColourPop's website exclusively for now. If you haven't already, make sure you like this video if you want to see more videos like this from me. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that bell notification when you do. And I will see you guys in my very next video. Smooches. Bye.